I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, it's it's just every every single solution is just trying to find a midpoint between two. All right. Now, here I we go. Genius. Stash. Uh, Stash, like, when I first met him, I didn't even know he played Smash Bros. at all. He just doesn't look like that Smash Bros. play. He's just chilling in the back, you know, just, just chilling. Yeah, he he kind of looks like the guy who probably, like, watches it, and he's like, oh, man, that looks awesome. But he didn't play it because he's like, nah, dude, I probably wouldn't be good at it. Yeah. But, like, he's actually good at it, so. So <laughs> it's like the perfect poker face right here. Yeah. And he's like, nah, you don't play Smash Bros. You didn't play my, oh, 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 okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's going on here? Right, it is not, it, it is the weirdest thing how me Brawler's eyes increase when he gets hit. His, his what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you about his eyes? Yeah, look. look it's he is a <laughs> startled look on his face. He's like, oh, it, my gosh. I it, look, it looks painful. Like, he never been spanked before. Yeah. <laughs> like, like when your mom hits you for the first time, you're like, what is this? Yeah. Why is my like, mom, the is, person who loves me, hitting me? <laughs> like, what's even going on? Oh, Sheik's burying me. Okay, never mind. I get it now. Yeah, definitely. And so far, Talon's looking crispy right here, man. He's just torturing yeah. Stash right now. And that is not safe on Shield. And Talon... We're trying to finish it up with the bounce, oh! but yo, the vantage system. Oh yeah, it sends him way up in the left. Nice. Oh my god, that was sexy. Okay, Damn, in Memphis, Giffy Cat, yeah. <laughs> yo, definitely, I know, right? <laughs> Give me that uh, peanut butter. Talent, talent, chic, very on point. I think he does a lot of neat stuff, but uh, I don't know. What? Uh, the buzz, you don't the like buzz, no, nah, the buzz, uh, the buzz said about talent is like. It, he doesn't even do good chic things. He just does really weird chic things, and that's how it works. What well, good? Yeah, I, it, I mean, if it works, it, it doesn't matter if it looks dumb. If it works, it's still you do it's it, not yeah. dumb. See, because I, I like that. Though. That means Talon is not going to do a flow chart that you know the top cheek players do. He's, he's going to make a – you got to be creative in this game, man. Because it's not like Melee where you have movement options and stuff like that. You got to make up your own stuff, man. Be creative. Have fun with it a little bit. Yeah. Like Legos. Yeah. Just create your own world. <laughs> and again, oh, Stats man, is looking Legos. for that – what would you call that? Like a Bruce Lee triple kick? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. One in, he has also that uh, that one-in punch like Bruce Lee. Oh, man. Yes, he does. Or you say it's from Kill Bill. Ooh, oh, that was close right there. Yeah, it's like Kill Bill because that was one of my favorite movies. But anyways. <laughs> and the up air? Oh, great in air. Yeah, Good I was expecting there. a 50-50 for talent after that down throw right there, which I'm pretty sure he'll get mm. after this stock right here. That's 70%. There. Oh, he's charging, oh, he charging up that one punch, one, man. One punch. Ooh, right there. He's getting ready. Ooh, nice. Oh. oh, great. It's actually much better now. Oh. The downfall to Sheik is, too, like, a lot of people, well, you can tell a good Sheik player who put in time. That was close, by the way. That was super close. That would have been it if he, if he had hit that tipper right there. But uh, you can tell a good Sheik player from people who just want to pick a country top tier. Um, Sheik doesn't get easy kills. You know, you got to be very accurate and know what to do. It's not like you can pick Sheik and win a major tomorrow. But tell him been putting in work for Sheik just as long as I've known him. I haven't known him that long, but ever since I met him, all I see him is play as Sheik. Does he have any other characters? Um, So he used to play Greninja at the very start of this game. Then Greninja nerfs, then he decided to go Sheik. Oh, that's it. Beautiful. Nice up air right there. And then taunt at oh. the end. The ninja. Sheik is um, so sexy. Her, look yeah. at that. I think that's, I, I think that's about it. I've, I've seen Just him play Greninja. Greninja like a long time ago. Um, I, I want to say I saw him playing Fox the other day. What? It was like friendlies. I don't think I've seen him play anything but Sheik in tournament though. Yeah, you're Ever. right. I mean, and there's no reason to, but I will. I will. Since there's like there's a lot of heavy hitters here, I expect to see like a pocket come out of left field, maybe. But his his Sheik's on point. As we see that first game right there, didn't really struggle too much. Let's see if Stash can make some adjustments. Now, Stash does have a DK. I don't know if, that, if that's only if Customs, but uh, we won't see it. Okay. So. I, I don't think we'll see any sort of left field from Talon, though, because, I mean, any other character he has is not going to be nearly as developed as Sheik, and Sheik's matchup spread is good enough that he's going to say, okay, well, i got to make adjustments. You in that forward air, though. Now, I think Stash, I think he has used DK outside of Customs. Though. He does, yeah. I, I think so. I've seen him at, uh, I think it was like Our Realms 5 or something. I don't know. One of our pop bonus tournaments where he showed up. Oh, very nice grab right there. Talent is just all over the place, and Stash is just having a hard time trying to get in, man. It's this is an interesting stage pick by Stash. I wonder why he chose it. I, I feel like that second transformation is going to help Sheik out so much. It is going to stop Needles, but you're also going to get Fair Chained way worse. Yeah, you are. Uh, so it's, let's see. Like maybe this first change is oh already. We haven't even changed stages yet. He only took seven percent. Oh, okay. So 
He's definitely going to use his second transition to his advantage right here. Like he said earlier, I'm wondering if Sash picked it just because of this, or maybe the final D part. <laughs> yeah, what I'm really afraid is that on ground level, there might be like a fair all the way to death for Stash. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, Stash will die. And here we go. Okay, now. Oh my gosh. Stash is trouble, having trouble getting any damage. Here we go. See, here we go. Oh, that was close. Like, oh. he just took him across the stage. I like how the, the, the statues, man, they are struggling to keep them platforms open, man. Somebody help them out. <laughs> the dude on the right is my favorite. He's putting his all into it. Here we go. Stash can do it, and that's it. Oh, right that's there. it. Okay, maybe that's why he chose a statue. I see, yeah. And you could probably do that at lower percents, too, and get that kill. But then with the sec with the third transformation, it may be in Cheek's favor as well, too. So we're going to see if Talon can go ahead and close out this stock. 74%. Man. Just amazing how it turned around, those Talon had, like, 13 damage, and like then suddenly a uh, helicopter kick to death. So much of a of me brawler makes me think of Little Mac. Like his jab seems like Little Max. Uh, actually, it's mostly just a jab. Makes me think of Little yeah, Mac. Yeah, probably just a jab. But then, like, of course, you get the uh, the, the helicopter boost lead kick. Very accurate. You can make it back. From that. Oh man. See, Talon, he, he's covering his options well. He barely messed up a smash. That could have been it right there early for him. He did uh, it again, and no, we living. living. But he can't take another one of those. He definitely can't take another one of those. This is rap after that. And we're going to go right back to the beginning in the stage. So this is, again, I don't think this is his stats favorite in this stage right here. But these platforms. I mean, he's he's doing much better this game. Oh, yeah, he's very close. And he's going to get punished. Oh, no punish. Oh, it's very interesting. He could have right doubled back. <gasps> oh, there it is. Very good. I yeah. like how Talon held it. Yeah, I think Stash was debating where to. I think the thing is that no matter where Stash went after that helicopter kick, he he was gone. Like yeah. he went, if he went flat, I mean, if he went, so he ended up going to lower when he died. But if he went to the top, he would have been sweet spotted and died, right? And Talon was just released earlier. Maybe he could have gone for the ledge, but I'm afraid that he may have like SD doing that. So yeah, so it was either SD or just get this up smash. I mean, yeah. he's gonna die either way. But that was good stuff right there. He <laughs> may I know he has a whole bag of pot pies. I'm gonna go tell him. Let me get a little, <laughs> some of them honey biscuits <laughs> over there. Like, share the wealth, brother.